Welcome back for this morning's first and finest. We're joined by Trooper Joe Sue Derulis. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So let's get right to some of the issues. Talking about some of the CSP internal issues happening right now. Fill us in. Uh, as you know, uh, there were several uh, of our troopers that were deployed uh, to uh, to uh, take part in an initiative in Africa. Um, and uh, this past week, the Connecticut State Police and Southington uh, PD escorted the 120, 102nd Infantry Battalion as they were on their way to uh, deployment uh, to Africa. Um, just really wanted to uh, take the time to, to talk about this again. As you know, we highlighted this, uh, this on our social media page this past week, uh, but really wanted to take the time to really think about the uh, sacrifices that these 500 men and women across the state of Connecticut are making uh, during this time. Uh, just really want to extend our appreciation to them, extend our gratitude to them, and just really, again, recognize the sacrifices not, that not only these 500 men and women are making, but 500 families across the state of Connecticut. So, again, from the Connecticut State Police, law enforcement across the uh, state, really wanted to take the time to say thank you. All right, and with the warmer weather on the rise, or hopefully coming, I think this next week is cold, but we're talking about an increase in motor vehicles out on the roadway, people getting out and about. Uh, are you guys going to be stepping up enforcement over the next coming months as more people get out and about, especially post-COVID, too? So that's definitely a concern for us as uh, Connecticut State Troopers. As you, as you know, with uh, warmer weather on the rise, you could definitely expect to see an increase in motor vehicles on our roadway, which will definitely translate to uh, an increase in motor vehicle enforcement. Um, as you know, our Connecticut State Troopers are going to be out and about, uh, making sure that everyone's remaining safe. We, we will be uh, patrolling the uh, inter interstate corridors, uh, 91, 95, parts of I-84 and 395 to ensure that everyone that's traveling around this time frame are, are doing so in a safe manner. Um, just want to remind people of a, a few basic uh, uh, you know, guidelines. If you are going to be traveling on our roadways, make sure that you uh, practice and you know safe driving behaviors. Drive the speed limit, and if, again, if you see any type of hazardous driving behaviors, contact 911 as soon as possible. And while you're on the roads, please utilize your seatbelts and ditch all distractions. We want to make sure that everyone's making it from point A to point B in a safe manner. Yeah, and on that same note, let's touch now on St. Patrick's Day. Of course, we don't have the Hartford St. Patrick's Day parade that we typically do have, but people still might get out and about, maybe go enjoy a beer, some corned beef and cabbage out at a restaurant. Uh, what is your advice for people out on the roads this week? So, so St. Patrick's Day is that time of the year. It's a, it's, it's a uh, highlight for all of us, right? Everyone looks looks forward to uh, St. Patrick's Day. We just want to remind people that are planning on taking part in any activity with families to just do so and, and do so safely. If you're going to be out and about, utilize your face mask, practice social distancing. Uh, and again, if you are going to be taking part in any type of a activity that involves drinking, uh, utilize a ride share program or designate a uh, designate a driver um, so that we all, all we all making it through uh, the week and the weekend safely. Again, the point is uh, the, the, the number one goal is to make sure that you're remaining safe and that your loved ones are remaining safe. So just do everything in your power to, to make sure that uh, you're remaining safe. Right. Trooper Durellis, thank you so much for joining us this morning and for your time. Thank you, Ashley. All right. Have a good day.